Hey, what's up, Reefers? It's Molina Femme again here with another video. We're back, all right? In today's video, we'll be going over uh, the Flyson lights that I bought on Amazon. All right, I bought these lights in um, August of 2022. Uh, once I set up everything here in the garage, it was about June of 2023 when I um, finally got them on and running. Uh, it's been about a year. Uh, we're now in uh, August. We're now in uh, November of 2024, and uh, the lights have been running strong ever since. All right, uh, the lights uh, have had no issues. Okay, I have. I'm running on about 10% white and 100% uh, blues on the lights. All right, they are the 89.99 um, version. I think they're uh, they're 16 long by eight wide by 2.4 inches uh, in thick thickness and uh, they've been doing good I run them with a wise timer and I set the program for the lights to come on from 2 to 11 from 2 p.m. to 11 p.m. all right um, they've been growing coral real well you guys can go back on um, some of my older videos and look at this uh, Hollywood stunner how small it was and now how um, how big it's gotten and uh, how much it has grown all right this uh raja rampage too when i got the small little frag now it's a now it's nice big and um and taking shape now all right so it is growing the coral everything's doing well let me go ahead and put on the filter here so we can see the all right you guys can see how nice and open the corals get with these lights all right let's see so uh on the amazon uh post they have they claim it's a full spectrum light all right they claim for it to have uv in it uh all i see is uh red bulb they claim it's uh 440 nanometer or something like that but um it's just four bulbs four red bulbs that come with the light all right the lights are good all right the only thing um uh, is that with these lights you don't you can't adjust uh the channels like through an app or anything like that they're just plug and play you plug them into a timer and uh, you set your settings to where you want them or you dial it to where you want it and uh, you go from there all right I'm gonna show you guys how I have it all right you guys can see there my knob for the blues it's all the way 100% and this one on the on the whites it's just barely on. Hear the click. And I'll just leave it there. That's what we get. All right. Um, that's how I run my lights, and then they've been doing good. What I see. It's uh, way different than what you guys are seeing. I have the filter on 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 my phone, but I have you get that nice blue uh, blue color. It's not washed out. It's not um. It's not too blue. It's just it's just uh, right. I, I don't know how to explain it, but it looks real real good. All right, you get a little bit of a shimmer, not like Kessel shimmer, but you do get a shimmer with the lights. And it looks nice. All right. Um, I could have been running my uh, Viper Spectrum, not my Viper Spectrum, my uh, Hydra 32 with my uh, two 16 HDs, but I just got tired of changing the lenses on those lights, all right? Uh, after a year of running them, I had to change the lenses on them, and uh, you know, that's an extra expense that I don't wanna have. Uh, I just wanna focus on growing my coral, fragging, and selling some of my pieces here and there to keep uh, my hobby going. All right, and um, I'll show you guys right here on my Hydra 32 looks the worst. All right, 
You guys can see how burnt that lens is, all right? And um, they're not expensive, but just the hassle of having to, to order lenses and um, waiting for them in the mail, that's just a hassle, all right? These lights have been running for uh, over a year now, and none of the lenses are burnt. None of the lenses need repairing, all right? I don't mess with the lights. I just leave them under this timer on and off, and that's it. I'm not messing with the dials, switching them up and down all the time. I just let it run and not mess with it. Same thing with this one, with the Viper Spectra. I don't mess with it. I just let it do its thing. All right, for the price, you can't beat them. If you're a beginner hobbyist and you want to get into the hobby and start, look at all the coral I have in here. And it's keeping it nice and healthy. It's keeping it alive, all right? I know uh, black box LEDs get a bad rep, but when they came out, yeah, there were some that sucked. But um, these uh, on their post tend to have uh, Samsung LED chips for the lights, for the LED diode. So I don't know how good they are, but that's what they're claiming, all right? And um, back then, they didn't the, the diodes on the on the LEDs, the black boxes weren't weren't the same, so they burnt out quicker. These have been going on for like a year, like a year, like I said, and they're they're doing great. I'm running. Um, you guys can see here. I'm running the same lights, but just the the longer ones. They're four inches wide. These are four inches wide by 20 long. All right, same thickness, 2.4 inches thick on these. And here you guys can see I'm running uh, Odyssey uh, T5 bulbs. The, um, these are um, ATI Blue Plus bulbs with the Odyssey fixture. I'm running the eBay uh, Popular Grow LED bars and the LetNet uh, LED strips from Amazon. All right. And you get a nice uh, spectrum of light going in the tank. Let me see, let me take off the filter real quick. All right. And everything seems to like it. Everything's nice and open. All right, there's nothing retracting. There's nothing not, um, Nothing that you see that's affecting the coral, all right? Uh, the lights are doing their job, taking care of uh, of the coral, making sure they stay alive. The filter back on. If you guys have any uh, questions about these lights, leave it in the comment section, all right? Uh, for me, they've been working, all right? Uh, for what I need them for to keep my coral alive. A lot of these pieces I do sell, so they're here and they look healthy under these lights and uh, they'll survive in any other light that you put them in, except for of course white, super white light or whatever part you're giving it, of course you're gonna kill coral, but with these lights, the, if you have uh, at least the basic lighting, you could keep coral alive. I don't claim to be a PAR expert. I still haven't tested the PAR in these lights on how much PAR they're giving out, but I will be testing that soon. I did order uh, one of those uh, JCOT DMP40s. All right, I'll be getting it in the mail soon. I ordered it off of AliExpress and I'll be having an unboxing on that as well. All right, but like I said, for the price and what they're doing, growing coral, you can't beat the, the lights, all right, guys? They've been going for a year and a few months. They've been going strong, and uh, I think they got a couple years in them, all right? And uh, they're well worth the money. And you guys know how this gets expensive real quick, all right? And um, 
in order for for at least for me to keep a, me in the hobby I, I try to minimize my expenses so I got other things that I gotta spend money on other than my reefing hobby all right so there you go guys another look at how the coral look in the tank here's uh, the coral under the Piper Spectra how big those pieces are getting Of course the 75 all right guys well guys thank you guys again for watching liking commenting on my videos all right and uh till next time peace